We're talking gridiron, Rams, Eagles. Let's move on to Rams, Eagles, see what we are dealing with from a market perspective. Man, uh, thank God. Thank God I didn't bet on the Eagles. I came so close to. Holy. The Eagles open up at three-and-a-half-point favorites at Bet365. They're now one-and-a-half-point dogs to the Rams. Absolutely wild. Absolutely wild. Hey, what did I say? Beware that Washington defense. That's uh, ever, eight, wow. eight sacks, man. That is a nasty, nasty defensive front. There was about five or six minutes when the Eagles ranged in their win probability from 91 to as high as 97.3%. When they kicked the ball on four, a fourth and three with three minutes, 10 seconds remaining to the Redskins 27, they're up 17-0, and they had a win probability of 97.3%. They don't score another point. They lose 27-17. Went sacked eight times, threw two interceptions. That offensive line looked terrible. Jack Driscoll and Nate Herbig started their first career games and looked bad. The injuries are mounting. I mean, just the inactives for that game, you have Johnson, Sanders, Barnett, and Hargrave. Then you lose Curry in the fourth quarter. Uh, Brennan Graham evaluated for a head injury. I mean uh, – you lose Driscoll in the fourth quarter. I mean, this is a – Well, and they also lost Brooks for the season, and he's he was the best guard in football last year next to maybe Zach Martin. But, yeah, they, the Eagles are so banged up right now. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like leaning towards the Rams in this. The Rams, they – Again, they're they're a mediocre team, but I think the chips are falling in the right place right now. And at one and a half, they're traveling across the country on a short week. But let's talk about these Rams. Brown rushes for seventy nine yards and two TDs. Goff goes twenty for thirty one for two hundred seventy five yards. Woods six catches for one hundred five yards. Acres thirty nine yards on fourteen carries. Not great. Uh, they only they they're pretty much healthy. They lose Gerald Everett to a back injury in the second half. Wow. Uh, Brady says, did anyone see what Donald was doing to those Cowboys O linemen? It was dirty. He was destroying them. Oh, I mean, there's the, the there's the absence of Jason Frederick there. Like they, that was exploited so perfectly by Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald's the best player in the NFL. Like you know, no question about it. Offense, defense. The guy's just absolutely incredible he's a man playing against boys uh and and what's he gonna do against this battered eagles offensive line like is they, there's a they've got an aaron donald problem on their hands right now because aaron donald could take carson wentz out of that game and in, in the first quarter wow and it's ot that in the Celtics Heat game. I came so close to taking that over all day, and I didn't. Okay, Rams, Eagles. Do we go ahead and pull the trigger on a Ram squad that beat the Cowboys on a primetime game and has a short week and has to travel all the way to the East Coast? I don't think you do, but Somebody's forcing you to make a play, I would say you do. Because here's the other thing about the Rams winning this week is they, they they beat the Cowboys, and I don't know if I like the Cowboys. Yeah. I, I think the Cowboys and the Eagles are, are pretty comparable teams this year as far as what they're going to be able to do. Um, and, you know, the Rams, they won by a – I thought it was a legit penalty, but – some people argued that that PI that that really changed the outcome of that game, but like you said, they're they're traveling across country, which is going to hurt them a bit. But I don't, I don't know if I I don't know if I like the play at all. But you know, if if you do, I, I look at Aaron Donald just wrecking this game, and and the Rams the Rams are going back to what they did a couple of years ago, I think, which is rely heavily on their run game. If they run a one-two punch with uh, with Malcolm Brown and uh, and Cam Akers, I, I think you know I think they, they can be successful. It's obviously not Gurley and you know pre-injury Gurley, but 
I don't know. I don't. I don't like this game at all. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to take the slight road favorite traveling across the country on short rest. But Mark Rosado says, if you like the Eagles, you think the line will keep going up? Yeah, if you like the Eagles, I'd wait. I would sit back and wait. Yeah, but I don't like the Eagles. I mean, I like the Rams. I just um, I just don't like them enough to jump on this, mainly because of traveling on a short week. Agreed. Agreed. And Pie Guy saying, yeah, but the Eagles have a history of wrecking the Rams. 